Okay, so we've got a question here that uh, is working with the area of rooms and it's saying that uh, each baby needs at least three and a half square meters of floor space and each toddler needs two and a half square meters of floor space. And the question that goes on and says to show that the total number of children allowed is larger if the toddlers are in room A and the babies in room B. So toddlers, babies. Okay, so let's go through and work out uh, what we can do with this question. So room A, toddlers, babies, room B. Okay, so two-way table will be useful. Alright, so it's a calculated question. So if I want to know the number of toddlers in room A, then the number of toddlers in room A is going to be found by doing 40 divided by 2.5. Calculated question. So 40 divided by 2.5, 16. And uh, babies in room A is going to tell us that we can do 40 divided by 3.5 so 40 divided by 3.5 is 11 can't have points so it must be a whole number and for room B and the toddlers would be 37 divided by the toddler space of 2.5 so 37 divided by 2.5 is 14 and for babies, 37 divided by 3.5, 37 divided by 3.5 is equal to 10. Okay, so for room A, if we have the toddlers in room A and the babies in room B, we can get 26. So. Toddlers in A, babies in B, so toddlers in A is 16, babies in B is 10, so we get 26 in total. Toddlers in B, babies in A, and the toddlers in B, we get 14. The babies in A, we get 11, so that's 25 in total. So reminding ourselves what the question was, well, the question said, show that the total number of children allowed is larger if the toddlers are in A and the babies in B. So the toddlers in A and the babies in B, um, so larger total. So that's how that question um, could be answered and we would put them in that particular order. So that was the question answered in the way the question was worded.